Hello and welcome everyone to our Tuesday evening UK call. We are the 10th of October. That means we're nine days away from the UK launch. For those of you that are watching it live, just let's see some excitement in the comments. What is it that you're most excited about and looking forward to uh, with the launch coming up in nine days? We're certainly excited to just get your journey started or have you continue your journey. Uh, today, we've got some announcements, some important announcements. This week is uh, really crucial. We're going to share some updates. I don't know, a lot of you have been asking uh, for between today and, uh, and then later this week. We will also do some training today. Uh, today's training is really talking about, um, you know, how the compensation plan uh, works, a basic understanding of it as well as our first 30, which is a program that we've put together to help you plan your first 30 minutes, your first 30 hours, and your first 30 days uh, in the business as a coach. And so we're looking forward to that. Um, to kick off the call, we've got some announcements. First of all, like, uh, like I said, we've, we're nine days away from, from the launch. So Really, really excited um, to kick this off in nine days. Um, I know a lot of you, if not all of you, that are registered for the launch event uh, should have gotten an email, and the email came from UK Events at Beachbody.com. Uh, so be sure to check out that email. It sort of has a itinerary for the day, what to expect. Uh, but the most important thing would be to make sure that you bring a picture ID so that we tie it to your registration and we get your day started. I hope that. Many of you will come there a little bit early so that uh, we see you, you get to meet and mingle and uh, take in the Beach Buddy atmosphere. And just like that, I think SJ is back. So why don't you take this relay and keep the <laughs> party going? I am. So yes, so you would have received those emails and that was just where I got to with regards to bring in ID. It is not a uh, maybe bring it, it is a definite must. You must bring ID with you to the launch event. So that's really important. So everybody go check your inbox, make sure that you've received that email from us. If you haven't, um, contact us at events at beachbody.com just to make sure that we've got the right email address for you on the system. Um, and also, if I've heard some people saying that they're not sure about going to the workouts. Um, if that's the case and you've decided not to go that, can you also let us know? Because I know there's going to be lots of partying happening on the Saturday night. And so we've got a massive waiting list, as you can possibly imagine. So if you are going to a party and you do not want to work out, please let us know because the next person will just jump into that spot straight away. So we'd really appreciate your communication on that. Um, so some breaking news for you in a kind of short window kind of way. We've had so many questions about what time the enrollments will start on the 19th of October. And so we can kind of give you a window because some people have said to me, I'm going to be waiting till midnight. I'm going to be up from midnight waiting for people to kind of go live. That's not going to happen. So you can sleep through that night. We are going to look at the window at between 10 and 12 on the 19th. that We will be going live. Ideally, we want to get it as early as possible. And we're still going to give ourselves a window. So you've got something to aim for. So it does mean you can all go to sleep that night. And that's 10 to 12 UK time. Um, so how exciting is that, that we can actually get a good night's sleep, ready to go and uh, raring for that day. So the next question that I'm getting constantly asked, um, off of the back of our price list announcement that kind of announced, went down, back announced again, and now only is there partly we are, as you can imagine, making sure, triple checking, quadruple checking, absolutely everything. And the plan is to also get the postage added onto that price list. And we are aiming for that to happen as soon as possible. So our goal is for the end of this week. And bear with us, as soon as it gets put up there, trust me, you will know about it and everything will be listed for you to go to. Um, and then the next thing is... For those of you that think we ignore, and I know I've seen a comment today that, you know, we don't necessarily answer the questions when we see them appear in the group. We do read every single comment that goes on in there. And then what we do behind the scenes is we start putting trainings together to support you because chances are you're not the only person asking that question. Um, and so some of the questions that we've seen 
being asked on there. We're not ignoring you. Please trust us that we'll put something together for you. And so the training that we're looking to put on, hopefully next Tuesday, um, from the fabulous Kim Carver, who you're about to hear from again in a moment, is all about sign-up flow. It's all about the genealogy. It's going to be about what to do between the 19th of October and the 31st of October with your people that want to become coaches. You've cut customers that are already on Beachbody On Demand. How do they transfer over to you? So that training is going to be really important and it does answer a lot of questions that we've seen posted in the back office. So that's not one you're going to want to miss. You're going to definitely want to be on that one so you know exactly what to do on the Thursday. Because if this training happens out of this Thursday or next Tuesday, you've got between seven days and three days to be ready for when it goes live on the 19th. So uh, hopefully that will get all your questions asked and just keep asking them, posting them in there and trust that we're going to be putting trainings together for you. So on that note, I have the great pleasure in introducing the fabulous Kim Carver. Uh, he is the director of sales training, uh, field training and development. So he is the guy that knows everything. He's the most amazing trainer. I've spent some great time with him while I was over in Utah um, tonight. He's going to be talking to you about the first 30. So what do you do once you've signed up? So that first 30 seconds, that first 30 minutes, those first 30 days, he's going to talk to you all about that. And then I know on Sunday when, for those of you that attended the goals seminar, uh, some of you had some challenges when you got to the financial aspect of it. It's like, how am I going to do this? And as much as I said, don't let the how get in your head, just put down amounts and figures that you want to know. You know what? The how does get in your head. So tonight we're going to go through some commissions and then hopefully that will help you to achieve those goals that you set on Sunday. So um, I'm going to hand it over to the most fabulous Kim Carver. Are you there? Hey everybody, how you doing? It's been kind of a crazy morning for me over here. Um, and so I am actually really looking forward to taking a few seconds and chatting with you guys. Um, hopefully you can see, I decided to use whiteboards today instead of PowerPoints because I thought it might be more interesting for you, but this could backfire on me. So if you have any questions about what I say, just tag me in the comments and I'll answer. But I want to go over a couple key things for you today. I want to talk about kind of getting new coaches started. Right, we've heard that as onboarding and, and the framework that we have in place to do that about the first 30. I'll talk about that in just a second. And then I want to go just kind of a high level overview of the compensation plan. Um, all these things will be either more details are available to you, but they'll all be important to you right now as you're getting started uh, with your with your business and getting ready to go. Um, it, with with the launch that's coming, super excited about that. So let me jump in real quick with the first 30. What is the first 30? Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. What we looked at was we, we noticed that there was a real distinction um, happening as our, as our coach network continued to grow, excuse me, I'm mature, um, in terms of, of coaches that, that got support and got the right training and got the right attention at the very beginning. Those coaches tended to have more success more quickly. They tend to be more effective coaches. They tend to be, be able to reach their goals to build sustainable business for themselves than those that did not. And that might sound really intuitive to you, and it's very common sense. I guess it's easy to understand from a common sense level. Um, but it's what, what, what's that saying? What's common sense isn't always common practice. And so what we wanted to do was to create something that would help us take some of the best practices from our very best coaches uh, when it comes to onboarding and put them in a framework that you can either follow as is or then you can use and kind of to, to incorporate or at least to influence your own onboarding process. At the end of the day, the most important thing that happens during that onboarding process is, is the coach building a relationship with their sponsoring coach, getting connected with their team, and starting to learn the skills they need to be successful as a coach. So what we create is what we call the first 30. And the first 30 refers to, the reason why we call it that is because we talk about it in terms of the first 30 minutes, the first 30 hours, and the first 30 days. Now, someone said the first 30 seconds. That would be incredibly responsive, Sarah. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we could quite get to, maybe you guys can in the UK, but we're going to do the first 30 minutes, the first 30 hours, and the first 30 days. Let me walk you through what happens with that. Hopefully, you guys can see that okay. Can you read that all right, Sarah? Can you guys see that okay? That yeah, looks great, Kim. All right, good. So, the first 30 minutes, first 30 minutes, first 30 hours, first 30 days, all right? Really, really simple, you guys. During the first 30 minutes, all we want them to do is to watch the new coach welcome video. Now, maybe you're asking, well, where does that, how do they get access to that? Well, the second your new coach signs up, 
our system automatically generates a welcome email to them. And in that welcome email, there's a quick message at the top from Carl, and then there's this big picture of Jeff Hill, and it says, watch this video, all right? And this video, basically, it's, it's Jeff Hill and some narrators narr walking them through, first of all, welcome to the company, but then walking them through how to complete the business quick start guide, all right? So we want them to have watched that welcome video. So you can tell them as you're, as you're, saying, as you're, um, as you're sponsoring a new coach, tell them, say, hey, look, heads up, you're going to get a welcome email from the company. Make sure you watch that video that comes, comes in. That's what you'll want to do with that, right? The video comes, they watch the video. In the video, we also explain to them that in the first 30 hours, we want them to complete that business quick start guide. Well, again, the video is what helps them, walks them through step by step, how to complete the guide. Super easy, super simple. The last thing that I ask you to do as far as completing this guide is to contact your coach. And you'll get, I'm sure they'll give you that access to these tools later so you can see what I'm pointing out. So during those first 30 hours, we want them to complete the business quick start and we want them to contact you, their sponsoring coach. Now, our experience has been that sometimes coaches will actually do that. They'll reach out to you and they'll say, hey, you know what, I finished, that, I finished that business quick start guide. It told me to contact you so we could set up a call to talk about getting my business started. But there also might be some times when the coach doesn't reach out to you. So what do you do then? Well, if you haven't heard with them from, from 30, within 30 hours from their enrollment, you can reach out to them and say, hey, did you have a chance to watch that video? Did you have a chance to fill out that business quick start guide? The business quick start guide, just so you guys know, all it does is help them set up their websites. Helps them just kind of get their business set up. It's really simple, really straightforward, okay? Um, but what we found, again, the value in, in the first 30, especially those first two steps, the first 30 minutes and the first 30 hours, is you have coaches that a lot of times when they're getting started, they, they're, they're, they're not, they're excited, but they're also nervous. They're excited, but they're also wondering if it's going to work for them. They're excited. And there's these, these dual emotions that tend to come into play. And if we leave the space there, if we leave a vacuum without information around anything that they're doing, sometimes those concerns, those, those, those you know, maybe those, those doubts get deeper roots. What we found the best way to help someone not have those concerns and not have those doubts is help them instantly start doing something for their business, all right? And so that's what this does. Now, when we talk about in the first 30 hours, this last step is critical, this contact with you as a coach. One of the things we do at Beachbody is something we call a GSR call, and that stands for getting started right. And all that is, is it's just a one-on-one -on -one call, in most cases, between a sponsoring coach and their brand new coach. And they just want to help them get themselves focused and, 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 and uh, I, guess, I guess, oriented towards the first steps in getting their business going. Now, maybe you're asking, well, how do I do that? That's why we have this, okay? This is the first 30-day coach action plan. This basically helps you have a getting started right call with your coaches. It goes through, let's talk about why you became a coach. Let's talk about your initial goals. Just some really simple goals that a new coach is relevant to them. Let's talk about then the action items. What are the things that I need to be doing? This, all, this gives you that chance to start coaching them. Again, these are doable activities for a brand new coach. Then we talk about time allotment. How, much how can I find time? What does that time look like? What's my commitment when I get headwinds? What am I going to do to react to that? So ahead of time, I'm already preparing them to start thinking like an entrepreneur, right? And then we circle back and make sure they've got themselves ready. We've got an accountability, a follow-up call set up, and all of that taking place for them, okay? So that getting started right call, all you need to do is follow that 30-day coach action plan document, okay? All this will be provided to you. So then the first 30 days, what do we want to have happen? Well, obviously complete that 30-day action plan. Hopefully that happens within the first day or two at most, right? Within the first 30 hours or so would be, uh, would, would be ideal. In addition to that 30-day action plan, we want them to get then into their first coach training, all right? <laughs> what we call that is coach basics. Coach basics, okay? <laughs> so I've got all these papers spread everywhere over here. But we call that coach basics. Now, there are chances that your upline might have a a different name for the new coach training. And that's fine. It doesn't really matter what they call it, but what we call it Coach Basics. That's what our version is called. And really what the Coach Basics or that new coach training is designed to do 
is to help them start learning the skills and the habits necessary to be successful as coaches. All right. And so we want them to complete that new coach training within their first month. All right. Another thing that we are very specific about asking new coaches to do and sponsoring coaches to make sure it happens with their new coaches is, hold on. Sorry, that one fell on the floor. Okay, is completing this. Three steps to sharing Shakeology. We know that a lot of times new coaches, they need a little help. And how can I talk about this product? What's the best way for me to do that? Well, our experience has been, that you need to talk about it primarily from your own experiences, right? And so when we say within your first 30 days, well, maybe you have a coach that's coming to you from one of your challenge groups. That's awesome. That's where we hope a lot of our coaches will come from. In which case, they might be able to actually fill this out from day one because they already have experiences from the challenge groups drinking Shakeology. But maybe you have a coach that just came in day one as a coach. So in addition to getting started as a coach, they're also starting their own journey as a, as a customer of yours in a challenge group. Well, you might want to wait a few weeks before they fill this out, right? They need that experience with the product to be able to talk about it. So this three steps to sharing Shakeology, it walks through kind of how you can build a, or share your own story with it about with Shakeology. It also gives you access and highlights key tools that you can use, okay, to share Shakeology. Um, and then also plug you into some of the other assets that are online around Shakeology. On the back side of this page, all right, this is a really cool one. This is kind of a quick reference guide. What are the key benefits, the key selling points around Shakeology that you need to be familiar with? What are the things I can say and can't say about it just to make sure that I'm okay from a, a regulatory standpoint? A lot of other cool things on this back to help people round out their story and ability to talk effectively about Shakeology. So this is the first 30 program. Now, I don't want you to be overwhelmed by this, all right? One of the things we provide you is a first 30 leader guide which takes everything I just told you and condenses it down to something that you can review and read, including references to all the tools so you know how all of that works together. So that first 30 leader guide will be a good reference to you as you get started here, okay? So that's first 30. New coach onboarding, extremely important, all right? If you have any questions about it, just tag me in the comments and I'll jump in there, okay? All right, let me move this out of the way now. I feel like a professor over here with like multiple whiteboards. All right, so let's get now into compensation plan training. That is so small. I can't see if you can see. I think you can. Okay. We can see it fine. Okay, great. All right. Comp plan. Sorry, I'm shifting gears now. Um, here's one of the things I want to say about our compensation plan. In my almost two decades of doing this on the corporate side, combined with all my experience before that on the field side, there's a couple things that I know about compensation plans. First of all, there is no perfect compensation plan. And related to that is there's no, it's a waste of time to ever try to compare compensation plans from one company to the next. At the end of the day, compensation plans play when there's volume and people using the products within the plan itself. Now they sometimes are structured to do different things. And really it kind of, it shows people what you value most when you look at their compensation plan. So when you look at our plan, one of the things that you're gonna notice is it's very aligned to our values around helping people build relationships, long-term you know, engagement with customers to help them get results. We're not about just giving commissions on one sale and then I don't care what happens to you because I already got my money from you. We're about helping, obviously rewarding that initial sale to help them get started but with a lot of rewards that come when you continue to support that person on their journey, continue to maintain that relationship, continue to help solve those needs that they've got for you, and then even in turn teach other people how to do that same thing. It very much aligns to what we value most as a company. And that's important for you to understand, that's important for you to look at. So as we get started with this, what I want to start with was first of all talking about ranks. Really simple, okay, you guys? One of the, the things that you can do if you look at our, um, Policies and procedures is a really good explanation around the compensation plan. I want to go through high level with it. Um, one of the things that it does, obviously, here is it goes through ranks as well. So when we talk about rank, the first thing I want to make sure you understand is the structure. Okay, Your business is structured in what they call a binary structure. The reason why they call it a binary is because there's really only two spots where people can go, either on a left leg or on a right leg. Okay, So here's your structure, left leg, right leg. Okay, 
So with that understanding now, let's talk about how you rank. Now, what are ranks? Ranks are just recognition moments for milestones in your business. As you drive your business forward, and specifically when it comes to rank, it's the recognition of you helping other coaches be successful. All right? Um, and, 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 and so as you develop a team of people, rank is how we recognize that development of that team. The first rank that we've got is what we call an emerald coach. An emerald coach, right, is really simple. They have 50 PB in personal volume, okay? And they have two active coaches, one on each side, right? One on the left leg and one on the right leg, all right? Again, more details on this and all the policies and procedures. I'm gonna go high level for right now to keep it easier, all right? The next one is a Ruby coach. A Ruby coach has 75 in personal, points in personal volume. They have two emeralds, but then they also have an additional coach that, that you sponsored on each one of those legs, okay? The reality is not many people go to Ruby. Most people go right from emerald to what we call a diamond coach, all right? A diamond coach has 100 points in personal volume, okay, from their purchases and their customers' purchases. They have those same two emeralds, but now they have three active coaches on each their left and their right leg, all right? That really becomes the foundation, in a lot of ways, of business duplication. As you are looking to duplicate yourself, and, and, and really, um, I think we talked about this last time, right? When we talk about duplication, I always say it takes three people. You, the person you're teaching, that's the second person, and the person that that person teaches. If that person can do it, then you know you're duplicating yourself effectively. Well, you can start to see right here how we start to train that, okay? Okay, so diamonds. Now, we also have our star diamond ranks, and star diamond ranks are basically just helping other people hit diamond, all right? So when you hear the term two-star diamond, that really means, in a very simplistic term, I've helped two people do diamond, or hit diamond, okay? And you wanna look again, the details and the policies and procedures for all the volume requirements and how they need to be placed and stuff, but I don't wanna get into that right now because that's not what this training is about. With that understanding now, I wanna get into our comp plan. Our comp plan, again, is very straightforward. All right. Um, it may not seem that way if this is your first time doing some type of a direct sales, but it actually is a fairly straightforward compensation plan. I want to break it down into two parts. The first part is my personal customers and coaches. I'm going to make sure you can see that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here are the people that I'm personally helping bring into. This is my store, if you will, my gym, my, my fit, online fitness club, whatever you want to call it. These are my personal customers and, customers and coaches to help them get started. Okay. We, as we've talked about here, we recommend everyone get started with a challenge pack. They get a challenge pack and get into a challenge group. When someone buys a challenge pack, a specific amount, a bonus amount, okay, is paid directly to the sponsoring coach, right? Does that make sense? That, that amount right there depends on the challenge pack that is, that is actually purchased by the customer, okay? And so just know that it's a fixed amount that's paid to that sponsoring coach, okay? The, um, um, this challenge pack also generates volume and other things, which I'll talk about in just a minute. But in terms of the challenge pack bonus, what do I get when I help someone get started? A challenge pack bonus. Now, what about their subsequent purchases? Again, our compensation plan isn't just about one-time bonus and then see you later, right? That's not how people get results. That's not who we are. That's not what we want to do as a company. We don't espouse that. We don't reward that. We don't want that. We, we celebrate the start. But really then, the, 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 I guess the power of our compensation plan comes in as you start to help people stay committed to those goals. It starts right here with our retail commissions. Retail commissions are 25% commissions that are paid when your customers make additional purchases beyond their challenge pack purchase, okay? So each and every month, if they're getting Shakeology, maybe Shakeology and Energy, or maybe Shakeology and you know, what other performance products that you've got access, whatever they end up getting, you get a 25% commission of that from your customers. Now, I keep saying customers because I want to highlight something here. The retail commissions aren't paid from coaches, all right? So when a coach makes an additional purchase, it, your, one of your coaches makes an additional purchase, it doesn't generate that retail commission for you because they're a coach. They're not a retail customer, okay? They're buying at that same price that you're buying at, all right? And so it doesn't generate that retail, that retail commission for you guys, okay? So that's the primary ways that you get commissions from um, your own customers and your own coaches. Now I'm going to try to move this over here without totally making everyone seasick. 
and see if I can do this here. I practiced this before we got on Arno. Hopefully this will work. Okay. You can see the three bonuses, right? Team oh, cycle on. matching. You got matching up. You got team cycle. Whoops. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, look at this thing. This is like, this is how the sausage is made, everyone. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Will not I never comment on that call one. on a fight before. All right. So those first, so, so the, those first two things I I showed you were around the the my own personal customers and my own personal coaches, their own business, my own business. Now I want to talk to you about team development. One of the, 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 the values that we have is people really taking responsibility, taking ownership of their own health and fitness. And we also love to empower people as well to help other people. We love our coaches. Talking about coaching, sharing the coaching opportunity is one of the key things that you'll do as coaches for the people that are interested in doing that. And there are some significant rewards reserved for that activity. If you think about it from a, uh, just kind of maybe more of a traditional business standpoint, it, it's almost like, like when you start up your own little business, right? And you've got your one little store and, and all of your income is based on the traffic that comes in and out of that store, those customers that you get in your own store. Well, at some point, all of these businesses, they tend to, um, um, uh, they, they look for ways to expand, right? And a lot of these traditional businesses, they, how they expand is they go out and they get other locations. Why? Because now their income, their ability to do business isn't limited by their geographic location, isn't limited by their own personal time because they only have 24 hours in a day, and isn't limited by those traditional bottlenecks of their, their own ability. They're bringing in other stores, they're giving access to different markets where they can get simultaneously be building businesses for themselves or getting business for themselves during the same time as the other ones being built and it removes the bottleneck of them being the only person that does it because they hire employees, they have other people doing that. Now, when you apply that to what you do as a coach, that's exactly what you're doing. When you build a team, it's a great way to expand your business into new markets that maybe you don't have access to. Um, it removes the time limitation of your time only having 24 hours in a day. And it also removes the bottleneck of you being the only person that's doing it. All right. And so there's significant rewards that are there for you in our compensation program uh, to reflect that. Now, how we do that, when it comes to, to, to this side of the equation, it's based on volume, team volume, all right? So personal volume, we talked about in the ranks. That's the qualification to stay active, the, num the amount of volume that's being produced from yourself, your own purchases, and your customers' purchases. When we talk about team volume, team volume is a different measurement of volume. And it looks at everything that's purchased in your organization, challenge packs, performance products, anything that's purchased in that organization that carries a TV amount is counted in this volume calculation. The biggest source of income for most people uh, initially as they kind of transition into this phase of their business comes from our team cycle bonus, all right? Now, I'm gonna warn you, the team cycle bonus at first can feel very overwhelming, but it's not that overwhelming. So I'm gonna to try to break it down for you really, really simply if I can here, and hopefully you can see this, all right? And I'm not writing backwards. Um, here again is our structure. Left side, right side, right? A, a cycle, they, they use the word cycle, let me start there. They use the word cycle to refer to how many times, um, um, you'll, you'll hear it say this way, how many times do you cycle? This is how you cycle. Anytime one of your legs has at least 100 points on one side and 200 on the other, okay? So there's a total of 300, but 200 and 100. That will equal one cycle, okay? That would equal one cycle. But let's say go we, okay? We bump that up, 1,000, 2,000, right? How would that work? Well, let me see if I can show it to you real quick, okay? I'll do the calculation right over here so you can see. I'm gonna go slow on this one so you can track. Let's say that you have 1,000 points on this side, 2,000 on this side. I'm gonna do the math right over here, okay? Here's 1,000, here's 2,000. This is how it works. The computer looks at your, um, your largest volume leg. In this case, it would be this one right now. And it subtracts 200 points from that. Remember, going back to this one, the 200, 100, okay? 200 points from the biggest side, 100 points from the smallest side. So if it does that, the amount left over is 900 and 1800. Is that more or less than 100 and 200? Well, I still have more, so I can still cycle. I can cycle again, so that's one cycle, okay? Let's do it again. This one's the biggest one, so 200 from this side, 100 from this side, 
800, 1600, whoops, not 16,000, 1600. Here's another cycle, okay? Now I look at it again, well, it's greater. I have more than 100, more than 200 each side, so I can cycle again. I'm, now you can get the flow, so I'll go quick on this one. 100, 200, if I bounce this out, 700, 1400, okay, that's another cycle. I'm gonna run out of room here, 600, <laughs> okay, uh, 200, okay, 1200, 100, 500, plus 200, it's 1000. Okay, another cycle, 100, 400, 200, 800, cycle, 100, 200, plus 200, 600, cycle, still greater than the 100, 200, so I can keep going, 100, okay, 200, cycle, still greater, 100, 200, Cycle, again, 100, 200, now I'm right there, minus 100, so now I have zero, 200, I've cycled, I've, I've zero there, so I've cycled again. Okay, so how many cycles is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? So you can see how we've cycled through that now. You probably could have done the math there, but I want to break down how that works. Each time you cycle, okay, you're paid a specific amount, depending upon how much, what rank you're at. Okay, and we'll give details on what that is either, but you get paid for each one of those cycles. So our cycle bonus is paid on a weekly basis. So it's cycling all the time. It's always looking, the computers are always looking. Anytime you meet that volume requirement, it cycles, it cycles, it cycles. And at the end of the week, it pays out all those cycle bonuses that you accrued during that week, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. This tends to be the one that each one, yeah, so the, 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 when I kept talking about points, this is what I was talking about, team volume, team volume points, to make sure we connect that dot. Every product has those team volume points, and this is just, so in this case, for example, right here, let's do the 1,000, 2,000 again. These came from all of the purchases that were made by everybody that was on the left leg and on the right leg of your organization. So your coaches, the coaches that you, now you sponsor and help, they're starting to generate purchases and, and with customers and things like that. That's creating team volume. And as the more and more, as the more, as more and more coaches are engaged in helping you and in, in, in finding their own customers and building their own business, it's creating more and more team volume that you then cycle from, okay? You start earning team bonuses as an Emerald coach, all right? So that's one of the reasons why quickly, um, one of those first goals you've got is to reach that Emerald Coach rank because it opens up now the team cycle bonus opportunity to you as a coach. Okay, Whew. that was that was a lot right there. This is the one that people most spend most of their time kind of wrapping their heads around, as you can tell here. And I, and I wrote all over the rest of my text here, but hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Okay, um, if you need to go through it again and again and again, the policies, your procedures manual, your upline coach, or no. Sarah Jane, you guys can all, they, there's lots of resources there to help you understand the intricacies of it. But the biggest thing I want to make sure that we're pointing out here, again, going back, how does this happen? This happens as I find and sponsor coaches, as I help those coaches start building volume in their business, right? Those people help finding their own coaches, starting their own challenge groups. All of this happens based on volume, okay? This is not based on rank. That's one thing that if you've done direct sales before, it's really important that you understand. This is not based necessarily on rank, okay? The, the, the payout amounts will a little bit, okay? Qualifying it does a little bit, but really at the end of the day, it's all about volume driving volume because volume represents consumption and consumption represents people using our products to change their lives and that's what we do, okay? Hopefully that made sense, okay? Now, I don't even know how I'm going to rewrite. Let me just do this real quick here. Erase all of that. Get my pink marker. Okay, the next one is our matching bonus. Okay, so, um, well, there's a U there. Okay, matching bonus. Matching bonus is really simple. When you have a Percy sponsored coach, okay, and you're at least a Ruby coach or above, when you have a Percy sponsored coach, Whatever they earn on the cycle bonus, you can get either a, uh, a you can get, let's just say, a, a percentage match of whatever they make, okay, on that. Really, really simple, okay? So as you help those coaches 
succeed in, in building volume in the organizations, their cycle bonus increases, your cycle bonus increases, but also as an additional incentive for you having helped them, okay, you, you, um, uh, you'll earn a percentage of whatever their cycle bonus is depending upon what your rank happens to be, okay? See, that one was a lot easier to explain. And then finally, down here, I don't, can you see that? Let me see here. Okay. Our star diamond bonus pools. Can you see that real quick here? Yeah. All right. Star diamond bonus pools. Now, this really is, this is a fun one. As you, um, as you grow your coaching business and you reach these additional ranks, right? Two star, five star, meaning I've got two diamond coaches. I've got five diamond coaches, 10 diamond coaches, or even what we call a superstar, which is 15 diamond coaches. You now have access to the really the success of the entire network through these shared success bonus pools. Uh, a certain amount, uh, for a certain percentage, it's actually half a percent um, for each bonus pool, is set aside each quarter. Um, and all the coaches who participate or qualify for that uh, bonus pool participate equally in that bonus pool itself. Okay? There are four bonus pools a two star, which is basically all two stars and above are in this pool. All right, so half percent goes in here, everyone gets an equal share. Then there's a five star, which is all the five star diamonds and above go in this pool. Okay, now there's some requirements for this that you'll need to look into to make sure you're active and you gotta maintain your rank and all that stuff. It's not just anybody in there, okay? But five stars uh, and above in that pool, okay? 10 stars and above in another pool, and finally our 15 star and above pool, okay? One of the things I wanna make sure I point out is if you're a five star, you get to participate in this bonus pool plus this bonus pool, okay? So you get basically two bonus pool payouts. Because there's gonna be less people in this one than there is in this bonus pool, your share from the five star bonus pool is gonna be higher. And that continues to get true all the way up. When you're a 15 star, there, there are not as many 15 stars in this pool, so the payouts are really rewarding. Plus you get the payout from the 10 star pool plus the five star pool plus the two star pool, all right? So all those things brought together. The great thing about the Star Diamonds bonus pools, you guys, is it really is that incentive, that reward for continuing to drive and maintain a phenomenal team of coaches. Those team of coaches that are out there helping people or in challenge groups, finding new coaches, again, driving volume, which is the way that we measure the consumption of our products, which is how we measure people using our products to actually reach their goals and change their lives, you guys. And so hopefully this explanation around uh, our compensation plan and the First 30 program made sense to you. If there's any specific questions, um, reach out to me. I don't know, wherever you're going you're gonna to do it. Um, post it, whatever. Ask Arno. He knows more than me anyway, so just ask him. Um, SJ as well. You, you know, any of them. It would be great to answer those questions. Ask your upline coach. Um, but we're here for you guys. Okay? The good news is, and, I'm, and maybe I'm going to tell you a secret. We pay you commissions even if you don't understand this. Okay? So while you're learning, there's not some test where we say, oh, they don't know cycle bonuses. Don't pay them that. We still pay them to you even if you don't fully understand it. So while you take the time to learn it, just know, focus on those basics. Help people, run successful challenge groups, find a mentor, other coaches, help them do the same thing. Again, fulfilling our mission, and then all of this will really start taking care of itself, you guys. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully this was helpful or no, and I'll throw it back to you. Excellent work, Kim. And you can breathe. Whew. I think you burned a few calories. I know that uh, a lot of people have got their minds going. Uh, I can appreciate that you have a lot of, a, a lot of questions. I'm seeing a lot of people say thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, and thank you again. So, Kim, uh, wonderful job. Um, I do want to uh, make sure that, um, that I underline that Beachbody doesn't guarantee any level of success or income, uh, but your own effort, diligence, and skill, we certainly – dictate that and um everybody certain certainly have have their own goals so uh thank you kim thank you sj this will be recorded in the meantime immediately after this we're going to post a goal setting zoom that sj did and then shortly thereafter we will be posting this recording so you can watch it over and over again until it makes complete sense so um we look forward to more this week we'll have um, a couple more trainings, like I said, uh, and SJ shared earlier, and uh, we just can't wait. Um, by the end of this week, we'll just be a few days away. So thank you. Uh, we appreciate your time and hope this was a helpful session for all of you. We'll see you soon. Take care, everyone.